Fears of sabotage are rising after mysterious gas leaks were identified overnight on the Russian-operated Nord Stream pipelines. Danish and Swedish authorities have issued navigation warnings after two leaks were detected on the Nord Stream 1 pipeline, which the Kremlin shut down earlier this month for an indefinite period of time in retaliation for Western sanctions. This is not a small crack. It's a really big hole, said the Danish Energy Agency. The warnings came shortly after a separate gas leak was detected on a second pipeline, Nord Stream 2, a highly controversial project that was frozen by the German government days prior to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and never became operational. Danish Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen said sabotage could not be excluded as an explanation for the events. It is too early to conclude yet, but it is an extraordinary situation, she said. There are three leaks, and therefore it is difficult to imagine that it could be accidental. Fredriksen was in Poland, where she attended the opening ceremony of the Baltic Pipe, a brand new route to carry Norwegian gas to Denmark and Poland. Today we faced an act of sabotage, we don't know all the details of what happened, but we see clearly that it's an act of sabotage, related to the next step of escalation of the situation in Ukraine, said Polish PM Mateusz Morawiecki. The coincidence between the ceremony and the leaks fueled theories of deliberate attacks. It is clear that it is a military matter, Michael Claussen, chief of joint operations of the Swedish Armed Forces, told Swedish daily Aftenbladet. Claussen said that it was difficult to detach the situation from last week's decree of partial mobilization, signed by Vladimir Putin to boost the Russian forces, but there was no connection for the time being. Swedish national broadcaster SVT reported that national seismologists had registered two clear explosions around the area, first at 2.03 a.m. and then at 7.04 p.m. CET, on Monday. The European Commission said on Tuesday it was still premature to speculate. We are following developments very closely, a commission spokesperson said, noting the negative impact that methane, the largest component of gas, can have on the environment. This hasn't affected our security of supply as of yet. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov called the news very concerning and said no option should be ruled out right now, including sabotage. This is an issue related to the energy security of the entire continent, Peskov said. Images and videos released by the Danish military showed a huge area of gas bubbling on the surface of the Baltic Sea. The largest disturbance has a diameter of over one kilometer, the military said, and the smallest covers around 200 meters. Unprecedented damage. Neither Nord Stream 1 nor Nord Stream 2 are currently carrying gas flows to Europe, although a certain level of supplies remains inside the infrastructure. The cause behind the leaks was not immediately clear. An investigation is underway. The damage that occurred in one day simultaneously at three lines of offshore pipelines of the Nord Stream system are unprecedented, said Nord Stream AG, the consortium responsible for the pipelines. It is impossible to estimate the timeframe for the recovery of the gas transport infrastructure so far. The first leak, through Nord Stream 2, was detected on Monday evening in the pipeline's Danish section of the Baltic Sea, around the island of Bornholm, after a major pressure drop. The Danish Maritime Authority released a navigational warning and established a prohibition zone within 5 nautical miles, around 9 kilometers, from the site, considering the leak could pose a danger to naval traffic. The German government reached out to the Danish authorities to examine the issue. Hours later, two leaks were identified on different sections of Nord Stream 1, one in the Danish economic zone and another one in the Swedish economic zone of the Baltic Sea. Breakage of gas pipelines is extremely rare, and therefore we see reason to raise the preparedness level as a result of the incidents we have seen over the past 24 hours," said Christopher Botsa, director of the Danish Energy Agency. The agency put the country's energy sector on orange alert, the second highest level, and urged companies to ensure security around their facilities.